If you visited the State Fair 50 years ago, you could make a piece of spin art for 35 cents. You could have also met the teenager who ran the Spin a Painting booth. Reporter Shannon Slatten introduces us to the New Hope man who still operates a State Fair staple. We think it's fun. At the Minnesota State Fair. It's fun to do art with the kids. You can always count on the favorites. We got a rag nearby. Spinning right back around. He's been here for 51 years. I'm pretty sure I was eight years old then. And I was doing this then and I love it just as much then as I what do you think I it is know. about? David Perlman's passion isn't as much about spin art. I've been fascinated with the fair forever since I was 14. But it's about wanting to be a part of the great Minnesota get together. And my dad and I were always racking our brains and making applications and being told, no, thank you. But then their luck turned when the spin booth went up for sales. I said to my dad, what are we waiting for? He was only 18 thank and God. sold the paintings for 35 cents. There's not a whole lot of money, and it is a major, major exercise in mess control. David Perlman has seen thousands of paintings through the years, and he says there are two types of painters. There's process-oriented people and product-oriented. What that means is process-oriented, it's like the kids. They don't really care what it looks like. They just like doing it. Then there are the grown-ups who want a product, like Don Topol. I have stacks and stacks and stacks of spinners. She's so serious about her state fair tradition. I did one last Thursday, too. She brings her own paint and supplies. Sometimes I do. Actually, sometimes I'll uh, paste things on the piece of paper before I get here. But this year, I just brought supplies and just it together. It's people like Don that have kept David Perlman spinning much longer than other spin artists. A few people come and go every year, but uh, we're the only ones that seem to stay. Surviving just about every scenario you can imagine. It's like a circus parade up Carnes Avenue and an elephant backed into our booth. And earning him a spot in State Fair history, as you can see in the administration building. There's a plaque for every concessionaire who's been here for more than 50 years. I got my name on the wall. <laughs> That's a kick. That's just a kick. At the State Fair, Shannon Slatten, 12 News. <laughs> you can spin your own art at the Spin a Painting booth. It's located on Carnes between the DNR building and the Grand Stand, stand ramp. It's uh, $4 for a painting and 7 for a Frisbee. I remember doing that you when I was a kid. As a kid you said. I won't say how long ago, but <laughs> it probably was 35 cents. Uh -huh. <laughs>